Gabrielle is no longer a tropical storm, downgraded to a depression as of 11 a.m. this morning from the National Hurricane Center. I'm Jeff Hoffman with an update and an analysis. It's a complicated forecast situation unfolding here. We told you yesterday there was a tropical wave close to the developing tropical storm that might interfere with its progress, and that is what has happened. This tropical wave noted by this dotted line has pulled a lot of the moisture and thunderstorm activity away from what was the low-level center of the tropical storm, and now it's exposed with very little thunderstorm activity near it. See all this red and orange and yellow? Those are the deeper thunderstorms, but the low level center is right here, several hundred miles from it. It is possible that this system could reorganize if enough thunderstorm activity develops here near this tropical wave and starts to rotate. But as of right now, we have a very disorganized tropical cyclone and one that might dissipate here in the coming hours. Hurricane Hunter data confirmed that winds near this low level center weren't even tropical storm force and thus the downgrade and there was no low level center found near that thunderstorm activity to the east of the island. Here's the eventual forecast path. This is the official track and not much to it. In fact, the, the official forecast is for dissipation over the eastern parts of the island of Hispaniola, very mountainous terrain there in the Dominican Republic. This will dissipate unless a new low-level center forms north and east of the island. Right now, model data suggesting that could occur once the system moves a little further away from the islands. We're still tracking what will be a center of low pressure, very weak nonetheless, as it moves east of the Bahamas. And there's not as much agreement now in these lines for the system to pass out to sea. So we'll have to keep a close eye on this in case it stalls and just sits here for a couple of days east of the Bahamas. Then that trough of low pressure may leave it alone for a few more days. That's a long way off. Still, no immediate threat to the U.S. That has not changed. We are looking at possible reorganization once it moves north of the islands. That's a low chance at this point, so we're going to watch it closely because obviously our confidence level in Gabriel has decreased considerably. So stay tuned for future updates as we watch the tropics.